Hey everyone, Slambo here. Some more VCLT arrived. This one's from Harry. Let's open it up and see what we've got. I have no idea what's in this one. All right, so when did it take off the top? And that opens right up. Since it's much smaller than a 12 inch, I'm guessing these are all seven inches. I reach in here, it feels like there's a book and some seven inches. So let's pull out the book first. Oh, nice. Golden Age of Disney Records. This goes right along with the uh, Disneyland record. Yeah, that's cool. Whoops, is that? Nope, that's not it. That looked like a book, another book that I had, but I did not have this book yet, so this is cool. Yeah, so now I've got the entire catalog of everything Disneyland Records. I see a few of the covers that I've got in the collection. I see a few more that I want to get. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to spend some time going through this pretty soon. So, The Golden Age of Walt Disney Records, 1933 to 1988, Price Guide for Disney Fans and Record Collectors. Up to 1988, this would probably be released in copyright 97. Oh, okay. So 10 years later. So I guess it just took a while for them to do it. And then on the back, we've got another cover there. That's another one that I need to get and get a good look at the front cover there. Let's see, any ones that I have on here, I've got... Oh, there goes a big truck down the street. Oh, there it is. Cement truck gone past. Okay, well, there's Bambi. I've got that one. And the one that'll never leave the vault anymore, Song of the South. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to spend some time reading through that. And in just thumbing through the book just now, I found two that are rather interesting on just looking at the, the uh, cover art. So this one up here in the corner is Dave Diggs Disney. It's the Dave Brubeck Quartet doing Disney songs. And the other one that caught my eye is over here, Spike Jones and his City Slickers with uh, a toot and a whistle and a plunk and a boom. And that's a cartoon I remember from watching in uh, grade school. <laughs> we had that one for some of our music instruction. So lots of things to look at and look for in the book. So thank you, Harry, again. Now, what are the uh, what are the other items in here? Oh, nice! Seven-inch Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And on the back of it, there's a couple of them here. All right, so that one is oh, that's just the uh, just the picture sleeve for the Sleepy Hollow. Unless, nope, that's not it. All right, so another Disneyland seven inch purple label. This one is Wedding Bell Calypso on one side, Man Talk Too Much, and on the other side, A Hole in the Sky, both sung by Fess Parker. That'll be cool. All right, and then the last item here, Lady and the Tramp. Oh, get it on that side. There we go. Another one of the story and picture books. Seven inch. Nice rainbow label. I love that. Very clean record. Awesome. These are wonderful additions to my uh, Disneyland Records collection. Thank you, Harry. I will definitely treasure these. And uh, I've got a second grandchild on the way, so <laughs> I'm going to be playing that one a few times. So there we have it, some VCLT from uh, Harry, some more stuff from my Disneyland Records collection, and a price guide and catalog of Disneyland Records, so I know, uh, or I have a better idea of what I'm missing out of my collection. That's what I've got today. See you next time.